I'm Dawn. Yes. I've got a muscle disease called polymyositis and because of that I struggle to pick up things off the floor, I struggle to walk and a year ago, no more than a year ago, I applied for a service dog because my German Shepherd was dying and um, Cheyenne came to me in January and I had to go and learn how to train her. I thought I knew how to train dogs until she came into my life. <laughs> Um, and yeah, we had to go and learn how to work with each other and she's absolutely gorgeous. I've always liked German Shepherds, but she's a, a golden retriever and boy does she retrieve. She retrieves everything. Good girl. So this is Cheyenne. She's not allowed to jump up onto me because if she jumps up on me, she f knocks me over. So she's learned to only jump up onto things next to me so that she can lean and give me a cuddle. Aren't you beautiful? So her name's Cheyenne. So she's from an S litter. She's nearly three. So any other guide dog or service dog anywhere that has an S litter who's the same age as her will be one of her siblings because every litter is given the letter of an alphabet. So it's amazing. And, and the names are never, ever repeated. So there will never be another Cheyenne guide dog or service dog. It's a unique name. So anything that gets dropped, I can't bend down to pick it up. Then I tell her to get it. She gets it. Then she's got to bring it to me. Then she's got to give it to me. So we can do that again if you want. Yes, to. let's see it again. It's most interesting. Get it. Come, bring it. Come, bring it. Bring it up here. Good girl. Give it to me. Thank you, my girl. Good girl. You're a beauty. Okay, off. Wonderful girls. Um, when I'm out and about on my scooter, if I feel a little bit uh, disconcerted or if I fall, I can't get up off the ground, then I teach her, then she has to call somebody for me. Come, Shai, come here. Come, come. Sit. Speak. Good girl. Good girl. So she only barks on command. So if I'm feeling insecure or any time, then I just get her to speak, and then she's, whoever I, everybody in the house knows that if she starts barking, I need them. I wonder if she'll just go and fetch my mat. Let's see. Go get the mat. Get the mat. Get the mat. Quickly, go get the mat. Now she's a little confused. Now she... This is amazing stuff. It's called gecko, and it's just. Stops my feet from sliding out from underneath me. So these are the little mats that she brings me all the time because she thinks I need them. And then when I do need her to pick it up, come, Shy, Shy, come, get it. Come, get the mat. Get the mat. Good girl. Good girl. Come. Give it to me. Thank you. She knows that it lives there for us. That's it. Good girl. Hey, yes, you adore this, don't you? And of course I have to pretend I'm an animal licking her ears out because I have to clean her ears because she doesn't have another dog handy. So this is our daily exercise for me. It's good for me, good exercise for me because I have to groom her. Myla. Myla. Come, Myla. Thank you, baby. Yes, thank you. So this is if I need her to come up because I want to put something onto her or I need to see, get something out of her mouth. And um, especially when I'm on my scooter, if she wants to do a my lap. Or we're out and about, we teach disabled Tai Chi. Um, so we teach out of a wheelchair and she will always find somebody that really needs a cuddle that day. And she'll go and gently climb up onto their lap and give them a cuddle. Aren't you beautiful? Okay, off. Thank you. There we go. Uh -huh. Steady. Come, steady. We're going to go all the way. Steady. Bring it. No, get it. Bring it for me. Go through. Good girl. So she knows we're going through to the to the house now, so she's just taking it through. Come. Bring it here. Give it to me. Give it. Give it. Give it. No, they're not going to steal it. Give it to me. Give. <laughs> Give it to me. <laughs> You've broken the dog. Give it to me. <laughs> Thank you. completely broke the dog. So this is how I get her jacket on as well, because I can't bend down to put her jacket on. She's a working dog, so she has to be on duty with a jacket on. 
when we go out and about into the world. Press through. And then I have to go down backwards because I can't climb stairs. So. Okay, so there's the scooter. She loves getting out on the scooter. Okay, and then she goes wild because she knows she's going on her favourite pastime. Three. So does she? Does she just walk? I oh know you've got, got, I've got my lead, but she'll just walk next to me. Yeah, I mean she's just like next to won't run away even if I hope. So you see how well behaved she is because she's got her jacket on and this is her working persona. So here's where she often does a mile lap. Come, mile lap. Mile lap. Come, mile lap. And I put the hand here. Mile lap. Come, come, come. Good girl. It's a beauty. Aren't you a beauty? We're going to go for little walkies. And little short walkies. This is where she tends to pull. She's not supposed to, but... There are loads of people out there waiting for dogs. It took me a year. I waited a year for my dog. Um, she was trained specifically to my requirements as well, so they need funds. Guide dogs need funds to help supply and bring some joy into somebody else's life. She, Cheyenne has given me so much joy, and they're there, they're available to me for the rest of Cheyenne's life and for my next dog. When Cheyenne's retired, when she can't work anymore, um, they, they rehome them. If I couldn't cope with her, they will rehome her and supply me with my next dog. So the, the costs are ongoing. The fact that it's already raised, taken them 10,000 Rand to bring her to me, the costs are ongoing because they carry on supporting me for the rest of Cheyenne's life and I don't ever pay again to guide dogs, never again. Guide dogs are supplying me for the rest of Cheyenne's life. So we need funds. Guide dogs are the most amazing organization. The people are amazing. They just are the most wonderful, loving people who go into people's homes in every walk of life and help bring joy and laughter and love into that person's life. Let's do a happy speak. 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 Speak.